Finally, the generative fill feature is now available in Photoshop 2024. It was previously exclusive to Photoshop beta version but is now part of the main Photoshop releases. To access it, go to window and select on to extra taskbar. But here is a noticeable change. When you select any area of the image, you can see the taskbar automatically move. This could be annoying. Now Photoshop has fixed this issue. Click on three dots in the taskbar at select pen bar position. Now you can position it anywhere and it won't move. You will notice that the taskbar won't move anymore. Our second amazing feature is generative fill. Select any selection tool and choose a part of the image. Simply type your prompt and click on generate. With generative fill, you can easily add or remove any part from your image. Generative Expand is one of the most amazing feature in Photoshop 2024. Simply select the crop tool and when you expand your image, you will notice a generative expand option on the taskbar. Click on generative expand and Photoshop will generate three different variations. You can select any best variation from the option. You can see the image will be perfectly expanded. Now this is the before and this is the after. The remove tool is now out of beta. You can use the remove tool to remove anything from an image. The best part is if you want to remove an object, simply create a circle with the remove tool. The tool will automatically fill the selection. Click on the check mark and the remove tool will automatically erase the object from your image. An other useful feature is the gradient tool. Let's start by clicking on the adjustment layer icon and choosing color lookup. Click on load and choose night moonlight. Now select the mask and pick the gradient tool. Choose black to white or black to transparent and choose radial gradient. Make sure black is the foreground color. Simply drag it out and you can create a support light. You can move it around, drag it to change its shape or even grab and rotate it. Now you can easily create a support light effect. If you select the mask, you will see the gradient is still active. But if you create another gradient, the first one will disappear. If you want to add another gradient, select black to transparent as the color. Then create another gradient. Thanks for tuning into this video. Please like and comment to let us know which feature is your favorite. Thanks for watching.